Hi, my name's Paul Wild. Uh, I write uh, Manchester Pop Trail in the Manchester Evening News, have done for the last, uh, I think, five or six years, documenting our musical memories while we're still around, predominantly uh, the 50s, 60s and early 70s uh, in the first instance, uh, because I just think it's a period that has been less documented, uh, but uh, it's just as important in our musical heritage. I've been speaking to the artists who've given me memories, some of them were were found fame and some didn't but it's most important in our history and the other thing is um, rooting out some of the uh, pre-fame appearances say of the, like the Beatles in Ermston, the Rolling Stones, the Who in at Stamford Hall in Altrincham, all important uh, and, and, and as part of the, this, this jigsaw of Manchester music and while we don't have a, a, a museum as such or uh, to, to celebrate this or anywhere to uh, to hang any plaques these days because buildings have gone I started to commit some of these landmarks and milestone moments onto ceramics and these I'd like to introduce you to in a series of films so that's really the background and the introduction to this so I hope you like what you see uh, as I put uh, each one online and maybe you'll visit my site some of these are available and I can make them to order if they're specific and have a memory that appeals to you so please take time out and have a look and contact me okay cheers hi it's Paul Wilde Manchester Pop Trail just want to introduce you to one of the earliest pieces I did uh, to celebrate a uh, musical landmark in Manchester pop and in, in, in UK history really. It became an influential programme and although it's not commercially available there are clips of this on the uh, on YouTube. It was a, a music programme shot by legendary TV producer Johnny Hamp for Granada TV. He came up with the idea of actually securing, uh, uh, it was a, a tour actually of blues and gospel artists from America. Uh, they came over in 64, they were doing a tour of Europe Europe and basically he secured them for a particular day, the day before they were playing at the Free Trade Hall in fact, uh, to shoot a, a, a TV special and it was done on a disused train station in South Manchester in Chorlton and it was made up to look like a Southern American train station with bales of hay, uh, a sign that said Chortonville. So this, this bowl actually commemorates and it's something I wanted to secure because it's lost in time. The place itself now has gone, the station, uh, it's just some debris that I found there's no plaque so I thought this was probably something that was worth celebrating and um, and this is it really so the, the bowl itself commemorates the particular day when it was recorded which was the 7th of May 1964 and also the artists that were involved and um, cousin Joe Pleasance we've got sister Rosetta Tharp who sang Didn't It Rain Lord because it did that particular day. Sister Rosetta, uh, Elvis called her the Queen of Rock and Roll and if you see a performance on YouTube it is terrific. You really, what an amazing person and um, she went from gospel and, and you, you, the, the, the later tracks in her life, yeah, very rock and roll, great guitar technique, amazing, track it down. So we've got Sister Rosetta Tharp, we've got Sonny Buck, uh, Terry and Brownie McGee and of course Muddy Waters where he uh, walks along the track in fact I interviewed Johnny Hamp and he told me that the train although the station was disused was out of use so basically the, the line was live and they had the timetable and they had dolly cameras running along the track and at certain times they had to come off it clear the area for a train to come through health and safety you wouldn't get that now would you so there it is uh, that's my blues and gospel train tv special a bowl to commemorate and um, I, I hope you like it thank you